Well, today marks one week since museums and similar attractions were allowed to reopen under Alabama's amended Safer at Home order. Now, one of those attractions, the Alabama Music Hall of Fame in Tuscumbia. Joining us now via Zoom is the Hall of Fame's director, Sandra Burroughs. Good morning, Sandra. Thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. Oh, good morning, and thank you for having me. I appreciate this so much. Oh, absolutely. Now, you guys have one weekend under your belt there under the new social distancing guidelines. How's it going for the Hall of Fame? Well, we, uh, we've we actually had a really good steady line of um, visitors that's come through this past week. And uh, from the phone calls that we've been receiving, it's going to be a, a, a bigger week this week. And so I, I know, Mr. Mayor, Ms. Mayor, uh, the, the people that have been waiting inside their homes, this quarantine fatigue, we keep talking about it. But what are they saying about their need really to get out there and get among the crowds, but do it, uh, do it, you know, with social Safely. distancing, yeah. Absolutely. Well, we're asking our visitors to come in uh, wearing masks, and if they don't have a mask, we'll provide one. And then we've, we've got a lot of extra hand sanitizing stations that have been set up through the museum. But most of the people that are coming through are just happy to be out of the house, doing something productive, doing something that's more enjoyable than just sitting in the house yeah. wondering when this is going to be over with. And um, they've all just taken their time going through the museum. It's not been a, a rush thing. They've uh, spent more time at, at the exhibits and in our gift shop. And uh, they're, just, they're just all a little bit at a slower pace, a more relaxed pace, and just happy to be out of the house. Now, financially speaking, a lot of attractions really taking a hit. How are you guys faring when it comes to your daily operating costs? Are you going to have to make a push to raise additional funding this year? Well, fortunately for us, we just come off the, the heels of our uh, Alabama Music Hall of Fame induction banquet, which was held back at the uh, end of January. And so right now, we're still uh, recouping the, the, um, the benefits from that uh, event. So financially, right now, you know, we're we're pretty stable. Of course, um, the impact of this, you know, we really don't know yet. But if if tough times come about, then you know, we'll be resilient and uh, get in there and figure out ways to uh, bring in more revenue. But right now, we are planning some social distancing type events. Um, a drive-in concert is in the plans. I don't have a date yet, but we're still trying to secure a couple of artists for that event. But um, anything that we can do uh, continuously to raise money for the Music Hall of Fame, we're interested in doing. But right now, we're, we're doing pretty well. As you're saying, it is about sustainability and, and the way to move forward. So how do you make those plans and decide, like, what events stay or what events keep getting pushed over? I mean, what, what, who makes that decision? How is that decision made? Well, yeah, all this is a learning experience for the entire country. You know, we're just going day by day, and as as things come up, we're trying to make the best decision um, with everybody's public safety being the number one priority. And um, when you know, we're, we're just we're just playing it ear by ear and by day by day. All right. Also, we have about 30 seconds left. I want to make a note here. You're also the mayor of Lexington. Yes. I got to ask you too, how is how's the town doing right now as far as the <clears throat> pandemic and the response and impacts of coronavirus? You know, I've often said since this started that the smaller towns are actually going to be uh, better off um, with this, this pandemic. We've seen an increase in our sales tax. And we feel like the smaller numbers that people are are drawn to now uh, are are attractive. Uh, small towns are more attractive to them. Uh, our grocery store has here has been um, phenomenal in keeping their stocks, their shelf stocked. And most that we've got a lot of folks coming from even from Florence to shop here because it's a smaller crowd. So we're actually doing better than, than normal at this time of the year. All right. That is the mayor of Lexington and the Alabama Music Hall of Fame director, Sandra Burroughs. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Good luck to you all. We'll come out and see you, okay? Thanks, Mayor. Please do. You bet. Please Six, do. You bet. 641 right now.